This episode is brought to you by the law offices of Rene A. Flores. Hashtag DWI expert. Uh, at the talent show, they had the first tryouts and I made it first. We got first place. Mm -hmm. But then something happened on the second tryouts and we didn't even place, which I don't know what happened there. But la um, politica, la poli politica. La politica. <laughs> it's because we were so good that they just yeah. didn't want us to win. Yeah. I mean, but, uh, but I mean, it is what it is. But that just like it just motivated me. It, didn't, it just fired me up you got the bug I, bad <laughs> got your bad like yeah. they say and then being on the johnny canada show uh -huh. and i remember i'll never forget what he said he said you guys can't hear her out there but man does she have a voice because mm -hmm. it was lip sync so what the with the public that what they were hearing out there was the you know track, Irene the Cara. track yeah yeah but i was actually singing my Hard you know what off and mm -hmm. um he was like wow you know he yeah. said i had a real powerful voice mm -hmm. and I, I never forgot that. And Johnny Just, had seen all all the big stars singing and all that. Yeah. yeah, he'd been, yeah. So so then after that, uh, so how, then, how old were you when that happened? Eight now, or nine. Eight, eight or nine years old. Yeah. So you were just I was uh, little. small, little yeah. with that. So I just, it, it, you know, I look at Layla, I look at my daughter now, and I see me at that age uh -huh. because she's singing every day. She's in the shower singing. <laughs> she, she's just like a little firecracker. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she loves, she loves it, you know? Yeah. And, um, I see her heading in the same direction, but she says she's going to be like J Lo, which I am all for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I'm half, all for that. That halftime show was amazing it with was, her and Shakira. It was. Like, I cried. Yeah, I just got so emotional when I saw that. It's just the magnitude of the work that goes yeah. into that. Yeah. I, it's like everybody thinks that it's just those ten minutes or right. you know whatever length, but yeah, it takes probably months. Oh yeah, of work. The with, choreography and the, this and then, and the people, what people don't realize. Um, you know, at, at my shows, yes, I sing live every night, mm -hmm. but I don't, I'm not, I don't have choreography. I'm not like, I don't have dancers and mm -hmm. it's a lot. I mean, I, I barely, I'm, you know, make a turn and I'm already out of breath, you know, yeah. and I'm just trying to, because I have to get through the night. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine her mm -hmm. that sometimes I'm sure they, they lip sync, but yeah. it's about putting on a show yeah. it, for them. It's more about putting on a show and I get it. I get it. Yeah. And um, I was like, I was watching it on YouTube again, mm -hmm. and um, and I kept telling my wife, I was telling her, you do realize that all these camera changes and angles, they all have to be premeditated and yeah. worked out and practiced, right? And it's not just them on stage right. and doing all the dance moves together. I mean, there's a whole lot of work that, that goes that, into a right. production like that. Yeah. And there's one guy in a trailer having to hit all the camera yeah. angles, and yeah. you know, at this moment you hit there, and this moment you hit there, so. Right. And uh, so it's it's an incredible work, and uh, it's uh, I can lot. see why you know if J Lo's her inspiration, <laughs> hell, yeah, that's not that's because a Layla's got a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. you know. I, I'm I think because when I started, I was like, I want to be like Laura Canales, and that was that's it. Mm -hmm. That's that was like, you know, and and she go on stage in a fur coat, and she's singing her, you know, she's singing her. You know, glamorous, yeah. and she just looks so glam, yeah. And, and uh, her voice was incredible, incredible. <laughs> And for me, it was just like, wow. So then a couple of years later, then we're at this festival in McAllen. I'm with a couple of friends and it, everybody's huddled around this small stage. And all I see is this girl jumping and she's doing the, the Roger Rabbit mm -hmm. and she's singing. And I'm like, who is that? So I go over there and it was Selena. Mm -hmm. And it was when she had that little short haircut uh -huh. and she was dancing. And I'm like, wow, I'd never seen that. Yeah. Somebody singing and dancing yeah. and singing live mm -hmm. and dancing, Yeah, you know, and doing her thing. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, how old were you when you saw Selena there for the first time? I guess I was around 15 or 16. Yeah. yeah. And were, were you all you all were probably about the same age, We right? were the same age. I, I think she's a little older than I am, mm -hmm. you know, maybe nine months yeah. older. But she started, woo, oh, when she was a lot younger than me. Yeah. And she was already known. Yeah. I basically, um, you know, didn't get 
I didn't put an album out until I was 20, 21. Mm -hmm. I was already doing my thing here mm -hmm. locally. Yeah. Um, but I didn't get signed to a label till I was about 20, 21. And I, I, what, been in, I had been in the industry for about a year and then she passed. Yeah. And that was, yeah. That was yeah. pretty sad, pretty crazy. I was talking yeah. with uh, uh, Chris Perez on, on one of my uh, hashtag PVT shows. We we're talking about yeah. her amazing talent. And he said she was a great actress. That's what he really? said. So she was a great actress, man. She oh, make, I mean, she could, wow. she could act out the song and she could, you know. Oh, so. yeah. This episode was brought to you by the law offices of Rene A. Flores. Hashtag DWI expert. Thank you.